Welcome to the clickmyproject.com This is our project title Secure Data Retrieval for Decentralized Description Tolerant Military Networks This is our project abstract In general, the mobile nodes in military environments such as battlefield or a hostile region are likely to suffer from intermittent network connectivity and frequent partitions. Description tolerant network technologies are becoming a successful solution that allows wireless devices carried by soldiers to communicate with each other. Access the confidential information or command reliably by exploiting external storage nodes. In general, the commander should send the information to the soldiers in a secure manner. So, here we propose a system which is based on the attribute based encryption and secure data retrieval scheme using the CPAP for decentralized DTNs. Our proposed scheme features have following achievements such as the first the intermediate attribute revocation enhances the backward forward secrecy of confidential data by reducing the windows of vulnerability. This is a data flow diagram of our process. First of all we enter into the system. First collect the sender information. Then the sender information is nothing but the commander instruct the soldiers. They provide the instructions to the soldiers. After that key authorities generate the key for the commander instructions. After the, the, these keys are generated based on the location of the soldiers and the instructions generated for that particular location soldiers. Then we perform the encryption. In the encryption process the commander instructions get encrypted. After that we transmit the encrypted information to the storage node. Finally the encrypted information gets stored in the information storage that is nothing but the storage node. After that the soldiers request the storage node for the particular instructions. So here we collect the user information and their location information. After that the generation of the attribute key and personal key for the user. The here the user is nothing but the soldiers. Then we going to perform the check the user request and the information from the storage node. We collect the user request and check the conditions in the storage node. Check the access policies. If the requested instruction that is the location of the soldier and the requested location is same means we provide the access. Otherwise we reject the access. We reject the access means the user request also gets rejected. Otherwise, if we provide the access means, we permit the users to de decrypt that information. Finally, the user, nothing but the soldiers, receive their information from the storage node. Let us see the demo of our system. Open the new things and right click the front page dot java. Run file. This is our process. We enter into the system we choose the commander in the commander page the commander is the sender here you should select the location id based on the location id only he provide the instructions to the soldiers so then location id then this is the access control nothing but the access key for the specific location next we are going to select the instructions the, these are all the instructions provided by the commander to the soldiers are all stayed in that location one information gets stored. then click next then this is the access tree construction page in this page we should select that same location and it show the instruction present in that information and it show the access key if we store uh, more number of information in the previous work means he, we can able to choose any number of locations and we can able to view the access key and the instruction present in that process then key authorities these are all the one of the components in our process the key authorities are divided into central key authority and local key authority the central key authority dynamically generated a one key local key authorities also generate one key based on these two keys we generate a new key here after that we send this attribute key to the sender for the encryption process send the attribute key this is a page where we are going to send that attribute key to the soldiers for encrypt the information that is the instruction for the particular location here we are going to enter the port number this is a port number where the server get runs then send the attribute key then we should run the 
receiver file separately. Right click receiver.java then run file. In the receiver page we should enter the server IP address. Here we run our process and the same system show here we enter is a local host. Then we enter the same port number of the server. This is a server port number so here also we should enter the same port number. Here receive the attribute key. This is server connection. It send the attribute key to the soldiers. Soldiers means here the attribute key to the commander. This is the attribute key received by the commander from the central key authorities, local key authorities. Then the encryption process takes place. Then this is a location. This is a location where we are going to encrypt the information and the storage now. This is a key for encryption then encryption process takes place ok then here we view the encrypted data this is the first half of, of our process then soldier side process here we select the location of the soldiers and the team id of the soldiers the two keys are generated for the each and every soldier because for their security we provide the personal key and we provide the access key for the location later on this access key only the soldiers should decrypt the information then we record this process then click next then here the soldier should request the location for the instruction then here he should select their own team then request the storage node here the storage node authenticated the location and team of the soldiers if the requested information that is that lo requested location information and their car current staying location is the same means the authentication shows you are authenticated it shows the location id team and the access key information then we receive the attribute key once again after the authentication only it allows the storage node to send the information to the soldiers so here we are going to perform the decryption process this is the decryption process takes place then view the decrypted information finally the soldier receive the decrypted information shows the execution time analysis as a graph this is a comparison between the CPSP and the official algorithm results this is a comparison graph the execution times takes more for CPAP than the our proposed approach. Our proposed approach is a blowfish. Thank you.